Okay, Sunday morning. Um, Saturday, yesterday, I had filmed the, um, I'm trying not to touch my hair. I was watching the last vlog, I'm like, will you stop touching your hair? Okay, so I didn't do anything yesterday as far as like leaving the house, but I did unpack completely, did laundry, made food. Like not like food that's worth sharing, but like, of course, now the heat comes on. Okay, anyway, let's just get into this. This is the past two weeks collectively of like stuff I've purchased through Black Friday or Cyber Monday and maybe some PR. I don't know if I'm gonna get through all of it right now, but maybe we'll break it up and do some other stuff later. I've opened it, but I haven't like looked through it yet, except for one thing, hold on, let me go get it. Okay, well, while we're here, we might as well just start with the thing that I'm talking about. Um. First of all, this is, is it Barefoot Dreams, that brand that's like super soft. I've never bought anything from this brand before and it was at Nordstrom Rack and it was like on sale and I probably got it for like 20 something dollars because these are quite expensive, but it feels amazing and the fabric is very like, I feel like no matter what your um, like body type is, like it'll make you feel very like, um, like it conforms in a way that's like very like nice. Um, yeah, highly recommend. Very warm, very comfy. Okay, Birchbox did 25% off if you spent like 75, and I already had ideas of what I wanted. So, we'll just start off with this. The first thing is the Well People BioCorrect Concealer. I got mine in the shade Light. I have it on my under eyes now. Um, I ha haven't decided if I, I like it. I thought it went on really pretty. I just need to see how it wears throughout the day because I don't want to be like, go buy this. Like usually I'm very confident when I like, you know, share products with you because I've tried them. But this one, I haven't decided yet, but I do like the way it looks. Um, let's focus on my face. It looks pretty good. I set it with the Charlotte Tilbury in the shade light. So we'll see. I, that's also kind of like a newer shade to me, the Charlotte Tilbury in light. So. We'll see. Or is it fair? The lightest shade. Okay, so another of the Well People Bio Brightener Invisible Powder. Okay, where's the Tatcha one? I have that somewhere. Okay, I haven't I even opened this because I was like, let's open it together. I don't know why there's something about opening it with you guys, but it's fun. So this is the Tatcha. And I got this one off of Spring. Because they were, it was like discounted to like $20, $20 or something really cheap. Okay, so Tatcha, opening Tatcha products is always like an experience. So you have that and then there's this thing. Okay, this beautiful paper. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Like just even their paper is gorgeous. Okay, and that's what you have in the package. Like, ugh. and then that, and then in the inside it's like all gold too. This smells very citrusy, but like, more like those citrus candles. So there's that. Selfridges sells the Weva brushes. Um, if you haven't signed up for their Global Plus, I will try and link it below. I, I have a hard time finding the link to like link it, but basically if you're in the US, each shipment is $30 for shipping, but if you sign up for the Global, it's $55 for the entire year and everything is, you know, shipped free. So for me, all I have to do is make at least two purchases and I make that 55 back because for what I buy, it's so worth it. Um, the Clarins Double Serum, I just, we'll talk about that later, but it was so worth it. So I picked up the Double Serum. I guess we're talking about it now. This is the smaller bottle. I had picked up the larger bottle before, um, but they didn't have it. They were doing 10% off during Black Friday. There's two sizes. There's a 30 ml and a 50 ml. In the US, the 30 ml I think is like 86 or $89. And the large bottle is like over $100, $120 or something like that. On the Selfridges website, the big bottle is like $85 or $86. It's The price difference is huge. So for me to purchase from there is way worth it. Um, but during the sale, the big bottle was out of stock, so I got the small bottle, which is still worth it. I still ended up only paying like 60, 65, 66 dollars, whereas here it retails for like, like I said, like 86, 89, so got that. Um, oh, this is something I've already used. Okay, so two things I've already used, the Charlotte Tilbury powder, but I mean, 
this doesn't really warrant a review. I love this powder. I had shades two and three and I picked up shade one and I have been using it the past couple days and it performs just as well as the other two. In the previous vlog, I talked about picking up more Zoeva brushes. Look how beautiful they come in. These like their own little like zip containers. These are beautiful. So this one, oh my God, so annoying. So like this is why I, I, I enjoy unboxing things with you guys, but like the time it takes to like, ugh, okay. So this is a 227. And I use that for the crease, duh. Okay, and then this is a 105. I have this in my collection already. These are repurchases. I use this for bronzer. It's a highlighter brush, but whatever. Bronzer, amazing, or powder. Mine right now is like much fluffier. This is like in such pristine condition. Maybe I will use this as like a contour or something. Yes, it's also good for, wow, contour. This is something I've been using so much this year. It is the 223 Petite Eye Blender. And I don't use it for the eyes. I use it as concealer around the nose and mouth. Also, to apply any highlight to the inner corners. I have, um, I think, a fair amount of space here. Because I don't, you know, I have like those Asian eyes. I have a lid, but the lid doesn't like, you know, extend into here. Like... Caucasian eyes or you know, so I have a lot of space here and this brush just does a beautiful job applying highlight in the inner corners So I wanted one for the face because I use it Because I use it for <laughs> concealer and I wanted one for the eyes because I end up mixing the two sometimes and it's, it's not the best This is some PR. Okay, so last time I had already shared this with you. I got the amazing cosmetics rose Illuminate primer, so this will be a giveaway because I mean they already sent me one so that's nice They sent another one and then what else is in here? Amazing cosmetics illuminate is this also a, a highlighter no it's a concealer, okay, let's see Oh my god, it's so hard. I always feel like I'm gonna break my nails when I open these packages Okay, this is in the shade medium beige. Oh good. This is the shade that I have. Actually, you know what? Sometimes they comment on my videos, so maybe they do know what shade I use, which I'm happy about. So this is an Illuminate Concealer. It's like moussey. It is the exact shade of the Medium Beige and the Hydrate Concealer. I love the Hydrate Concealer stick, so this is the Illuminate. I cannot wait to use this. Okay, so last month I shared that Ibotta was doing 20% cash back on a lot of websites, and eBay was one of them. So I purchased some things um empty cushions you, every time i show cushions you guys ask where i get them i get them from either ebay or amazon um mostly ebay because you get better prices so this is just a white one i'll link these below if i could if the seller is still selling them so it's just a white one with silver and then it comes with this pad and then you know an empty cushion oh okay look this one's really cute it has like a honeycomb sponge inside Adorb. So I picked up two of those. Also, the mirrors that come in these like cushions are always like so nice. This one is okay. I think those had to have been like three or four dollars. These ones I think were just slightly more expensive, like maybe four or five dollars. But look, they're black and gold. I mean, fuck, right? Oh, I have to stop swearing. Whatever. Okay, so that. I haven't even opened these yet. Yeah. Oh, this also has like the honeycomb sponge in it. But you guys know how much I love cushions. Like any full coverage concealer and any matte, oh not concealer, any full coverage foundation and any matte foundation, I always like putting it in a cushion because it really helps you control how it looks on your face. So, oh my, so pretty. I just want all of mine to look like this now. Ugh. I have like three boxes of PR, but I don't, I don't really... I don't feel like doing that right now. Okay, let's do this one then. Okay, Misha was doing 40% off their website. So I picked up, let's see this. Yeah, so I can share the prices with you guys because some of these items I've never purchased before and I need to let you know. Okay, these are repurchased, where are they? These are the eyebrow trimmers from Misha. Now, these are just razors, but these are the absolute best razors to shave your face. I've talked about this before, but I like the ones that are like straight across, not the ones that bend and fold. Those are fine, they do work, but I think you have much better precision and a much better grip when you use the ones that don't fold. Um, also, these are slightly shorter 
than the ones I typically see. They're usually the, uh, the blades are longer. The shorter ones obviously give you much more control, especially in areas around your like around your brows actually which is quite important and kind of like you know around your nose areas that are like more crevicey these are so good also the blade is just really sharp i don't know why i just feel like my after i've shaved my face with these it's like superior the feeling to the other ones i've tried it's a long time like long tangent okay this is the apu skinny i said that word so ugly skinny brow cara this was recommended to me i already have purchased this this is a repurchase um, but I love it and it's really great. It's super tiny thin and you just I run it through my brows before I put in like a brow pencil This is a brush cleaner. Actually, I picked up one of these from forever 21 also, but that order hasn't come in This was five dollars and forty cents. It's actually kind of pricey, right? I feel like the ones at TJ Maxx now are like 4 dollars but okay this one Is like, you know your standard tin, but it actually has that little centerpiece Usually I think you just get the sponge. This is usually a little more expensive, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, we'll see. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna function the same. I don't know what this brand is. It's by Misha, but it's like P-P-O-S-O-N-G. And has a kind of cute packaging. So I picked up a dry, the sun is making, making weird. Okay, I got their dry shampoo. It's kind of a small bottle. I wonder what it smells like. Should I smell them? Whoa. That was like an intense spray. <laughs> Smells really good, fresh. This is a makeup fixer, a fixing spray. I've been really into fixing sprays lately. <gasps> okay, is this aerosol? <gasps> Guys, it's aerosol. Okay, are you not excited? I thought it was just a regular one. Cause the Morphe came out with the their aerosol one and I just haven't seen, like there's a lot of facial mists that are like, you know, fancy water that are aerosol, but not actual fixing sprays. Okay, I am so beyond excited. Okay, let's smell this. Oh, it doesn't really smell like anything, which is good. Okay, oh my God, I am so excited. Go buy this. Okay, don't, don't, don't buy it yet until I tell you that it's good. Then this is a deodorant spray. Okay. Oh my God. I like that. And then lastly, maybe I needed to like round out my order to get free shipping. These are deodorant tissues, which we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. These are my something. I, these are might something. These are something I could keep in my car, maybe. I don't know. And then just one sample. Oh my God, really? Guys, usually when you buy from like Misha or like any kind of Korean seller, it's like 500 samples, right? They only give me one sample. What is that? Um, I'm gonna have to clean this all up now. And then we'll do like more PR later on in the vlog. Also, I know I have other like Black Friday things coming in. So this will be like a very haul intensive vlog. Okay, all right. Okay, um, first I wanna talk about this leather jacket. Every time I wear it in a vlog now, you guys ask where it's from, even though, well, I shared it with you the first time, but it's by BNCI. It is faux leather. I got mine from Nordstrom Rack for like $36. So it was like incredibly on sale and it's sold out now. Um, I actually have seen this. This must be some kind of like a private label style because I saw it by another brand that was selling it for like $200, reduced to like $160 or something, which means don't buy it. I could, if I could find it, I'll link it, but at the same time, it's like, it's faux leather. Why are you paying so much for it? Like, I, I don't want to pay more than, like, 50 or 60 for, like, a faux leather jacket. Um, so that's that. So I don't really know what today's agenda is. There's a lot of things I have to buy. Like, I like tampons from Walmart. I want my water and eggs to be from Aldi. I want, uh, I need to pick up a power strip. I mean, but all these things are at different places. And yes, I, I just can't negotiate just all buying them from one place because I'm cheap. <laughs> and I have preferences. Oh my God, that was so dangerous for my brand new camera. I think I was like a little in shock because whatever, we need to get into that. Okay, I'm just glad the camera's okay. Okay, TJ Maxx Marshalls picked some stuff up over the weekend. This is one of them and I wanna get another one. How cute is it? It's by the brand. Bella Beauty. It was $3.99. They had like other colors, but like how cute is this? I'm not even into cute, but I picked this one because 
I think it was like the most flattering to my skin tone. But you just hold it up, hold it up. It holds your hair up out of your face when you're doing your makeup so you can like full on see your entire face, which is pretty important. Oh, I feel like my neck is looking worse than usual. Um, yeah, they had like a purple, there was like some kind of like white one, but I didn't want to get any, anything white. So this was like the least likely to get dirty. Also, like I said, like most flattering to the skin tone. Other things I picked up, this, the Maycoop Raw Sauce. This was the smaller bottle and it was $7.99. This is what the bottle looks like. I used to have a full size of this back in the day when Mimi Box was still a website that sold stuff and I loved it. I went through the whole bottle. Um, they started selling at Sephora. I don't know if it's doing well there or not. I hope so because like, you know, I want it to be available but I picked up two of these like smaller bottles. They regularly retail for $14 and they were $8. Bucks. $7.99 at TJ Maxx, so I got two of those. The Real Techniques Mini Miracle Sponges, Eraser Sponges. I know you can get these at Ulta, they can do bo like BOGO half off, but these are always $2.99 at Marshalls and or TJ Maxx, so I just get them from there. Like this is my second pack from them because, you know, easier. The e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator, this is in mint. I love this. <laughs> my mint one is almost gone. The rose one was sent to me a while ago and I, I'm, I'm kind of, I mean, I use it because it's easy, but I prefer this one. So my mint one is almost gone. So I picked up another one, $1.99, totally a good price. Lastly, this complexion tool. You usually see the ones where it's like dual ended and has like a smaller, like this version. I like this one has like a little pokey, like a pinch. Um, often I find that like, I would use a needle sometimes, which is so bad, but like if you like poke you're like blackheads or you poke it a little bit it makes it so much easier to like get the gunk out so i'm kind of excited for this and this was 2.99 which i mean really good price right let's just hope it works i just <laughs> i went for like the pretty one there's like a gold one but i was kind of like mm, we'll go for this one good morning it's monday morning i got home it was kind of dark yesterday also i didn't have my phone which was kind of like I guess it's not the first time. Well, I feel like if some vlogs ago, I also didn't have my phone, but like when you realize it, you're like, oh my God, I'm completely disconnected from life right now, which isn't true, but um, the only thing it interferes with, I actually really like not having my phone because um, you actually look at things that are going on around you. Also, oh, let me share this first. So they haven't shared any food with you. This is lunch for the week. This is the banza, that like shell pasta. It's like just chickpeas and like pea protein. Pretty good. And I have it mixed with like um, cream of mushroom. And I might have, I don't know what else is in there. But basically I have a bowl at work and I just like make a bowl every day for lunch. That's the level we're at right now. Okay, so back to yesterday. Yeah, being disconnected from your phone, not that big of a deal. Other than like not being able to review stuff. Um that I want to purchase. Um, I bought the L'Oreal sponge, the pink one. Pretty good. I actually really like it. It's still kind of big. Um, update on the Eco Tools like blender duo that I got. The green one was really good, like the big one, but it was like huge. It's like too large to do your face. Even the L'Oreal one is just slightly too big for me, but I still like it. Um, and then the small green one in the Eco Tools like duo was really hard. You would think that they would be using the same material. No. And in fact, when I posted that video, someone down there like said the same thing. Like, um, the green, like the little one is really hard. And it really is. Like, why is it? It could have been such an excellent sponge. Um, what else do I want to share with you? Apparently, holiday shopping has started and I didn't realize this. Um, when I was at TJ Maxx, like the line was like up to like the third row of like women's clothing so it like circled all the way through like ours does like a windy thing so like there's like the registers and then there's like this huge kind of like mazed sectioned off area and it's like a good amount of space so let's just say it's like three times the amount of people you typically see it was a lot because like and i didn't register this sooner because i was um in texas all of last week or two weeks ago and then all last week all I did was go to work and come home so I didn't even realize it was like holiday season shopping because when I do I remind myself to not go out on the weekends and to try to get stuff done during the week after work like little by little yeah because you got like 
women, obviously. Then you have their significant others, and then there's children, and then there's strollers, and then there's like free children, like not in strollers. <laughs> What's the word? Um, they're free to roam. <laughs> they're really cute. Oh, there's this little boy. Anyway, um, yeah. So, ooh, a lot of people hair. Okay, so we were talking about this jacket right yesterday. When I was in Nordstrom Rack, I found another one. And I think it's the same one that I had returned. I had originally bought it in store for $48. Then like the following week, they did their 25% off that they do every month, the clear the rack. So I picked this one up off of the website for 36. Well, apparently the one that I returned still hasn't been bought, which I don't understand why. It's such an excellent, like it's a great jacket. When I took it to the register, it only rang up for $24. Am I weird? I buy backups. Like I have a backup of this coat now. I have like the camel coat I wear all the time. I got a backup of that. Cause Forever 21 had it down to like 20 some dollars. So like, why not, right? And like pants. I mean, when you find a pair of leggings or pants that fit well, you have to get a, like a backup of that because that's difficult. I have been on this quest for flat boots. It has been such a massive failure. I've purchased from so many different places and they always end up returning them. It's just difficult to find a pair. Like I, I tend to find maybe, if I'm lucky, one pair every season and I wear it through the entire like boot season and like the ones I'm wearing right now are so dead. They're like, I wouldn't wear them out to like someplace like nice. Like they're just, for work it's fine. But it's like the seams are like ripped from like where the base of the shoe connects to like the top part of the shoe that's like molded to your foot and it's just scratched up and it is not cute upon close inspection <sighs> okay so <clears throat> it's thursday i obviously haven't vlogged since the weekend um there's so much i want to share with you i just haven't had time uh the past couple months i've been basically having to get to work much earlier so <sighs> It takes away all that time that I usually, you know, take like 20 minutes to vlog or whatever in the morning. So with that in mind, I, instead of kind of unboxing the PR, which is kind of just stupid. It's like as stupid as like a first impression, but like I've just been using stuff throughout the week so I can actually just give you a review, right? Because like that's all we care about. Um, one of the things is the Athena palette from Bad Habit that was sent to me from Shop Hush. I've talked to you guys about this app slash website a lot. And I used it on my eyes today. This side always ends up looking worse regardless, because I feel like because I do this like side swept thing, everything on this side always ends up looking worse at the end of the day. Um, I mean, this has been on for a really long time. I mean, we'll try and do a review tomorrow. Basically, it performs really well. That's all I wanted to say. All right, I need to have my diet tea take a shower I can't even tell you I don't even want to tell you how long it's been since I've washed my hair Ugh. okay okay good morning it is Saturday morning I had mentioned I'm just going to review a lot of the PR instead of unbox it there is still some that has come in this week so I haven't reviewed that yet but I've used the stuff before so okay first of all these palettes, I talked to you guys, not these. First of all, I knew this was being sent to me because they typically send an email. This is from Hush. They'll send an email and be like, hey, we're gonna send this to you, you know, look out for it, blah, blah, blah. Bad Habit, the Athena palette. It is a dupe of the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk. I have definitely considered purchasing that palette, even the one before that, but I'm just really trying not to buy the big palettes. Palettes with like more than like 12 shades or something like that, you know. The biggest palettes I have right now are the Viseart, and those have, I think they have 12 shades, 12 or 16, but it's Viseart, that's different. Um, so this is what this looks like. I've used it this whole week. Um, this shade, just like in the Huda Beauty, is just, I don't understand the point of why this was included. It's just a mess. Um, I don't have it to compare, obviously, but I can tell you whether or not the shadows are good, right? And they are awesome. I have it on today. I have like just bronzer in the crease and on the lower lash line, but I mainly use this color called Gleam. So that's what I have on the lids. They're really soft and pretty. Like I thought they would be like incredibly in your face, i.e. like, um, like kind of gritty and like fallouty, but they're totally not. So I basically have it on all over the lid. I can't see right now, so we're just gonna hope that you can see how pretty they are. 
um, and usually I'm not a fan of kind of like a glittery shadow during the work week but I've been like dipping into all the glittery shadows that was Gleam this is epic um, Triumph because I use a shimmery base I use Marc Jacobs um, or I use by Terry so I'm already having a bit of glittery like not glitter but like shimmer so those are all kind of like the slightly glittery shades but no fallout that I've used and I like all of these and the mattes I've thoroughly enjoyed also let me give you some swatches heroic power clever these are probably the main ones that I've used I mean really beautiful they are definitely more powdery like they're softer and a little more powdery but they blend out like you don't once they're on your eyes you're not like oh my god these are like cheap shadows they're really nice i'm gonna link shopper mandy i don't know if you guys watch her but she did a really excellent video um because she has both the palettes i feel like i'm giving you a good review of a recommendation but she actually can show you swatches she has a section where she swatches the palette side by side the colors are slightly different the setup is obviously very similar um, I'm a little torn when it comes to purchasing dupe products on one hand I feel that you're ripping off another company's product like their packaging maybe their layout or their color selection but then I also have this other this other small part of me that's like okay warm tone palettes are popular now so every brand has come out with a warm tone palette so if you took away the packaging um, a lot of the colors are so similar so whenever I, on Instagram I see swatches of say like what is the most recent one I saw that was really good it was the wet n wild comfort zone palette um, versus like the Mario palette uh, from Anastasia or the new wet n wild palette versus like modern renaissance it was very interesting like when you do take away the packaging and you do take away all of that the shade selection of a lot of the palettes and i'm not just talking dupes or i'm not just talking dupes i'm talking about like Too Faced versus like urban decay sometimes there'll be palettes that are like really similar so while i can't really decide how I feel about it. At the end of the day, they are copying a larger brand or a more well-known brand's product. So, I mean, that's kind of up to you, but I will tell you that if you have been wanting to try more expensive palettes and you're just like, I can't commit 40 plus, 60 plus dollars on a palette, Bad Habit Cosmetics definitely has really great options. In I December, um, Sephora does like you know their VIB like coupon so I have $25 off of a $50 purchase I bought the Dr. Dennis Gross alpha beta peeling pads again the one I had I bought one last year and I'm almost down to like two or three this is just so good there's two pads in here one you you just after you've cleansed your skin you apply the first pad and that's like the peel you leave it on for a couple minutes two to three minutes and then you go in with the second cloth and that kind of brings your pH back to like a more normal place so that you can then apply skincare and your skincare will then absorb properly. This, I've used the Nip Fab ones. They have glycolic acid peels. I love glycolic acid. I really love glycolic acid. So even though the Nip Fab ones are cheaper and I do think they're good, I do think they're very good. These are just like a teensy bit better and, but they're more expensive so you getting $25 off on this was like excellent I think you get 88 pads for no you get 35 pads for $88 so I mean I had a gift card going in it wasn't I still didn't pay for these but like it was really excellent to be able to apply that coupon to it so I love these so much okay <laughs> speaking of glycolic acid um pixie sent over this box and I was just like that's nice like they sent me stuff before um but I've never gotten anything personalized, guys. Like, I stop, I clearly don't get a lot of PR, but I get enough PR to kind of see, get a feeling for like what brands do. And you know, when you watch other people's unboxings, how cute is this? When I first saw this, I was like, oh my God, what can it be? Like, and I'll be honest, like I was like hoping that it would be skincare because Pixie does really great skincare. I think I like their skincare over their makeup. Okay, I take that back just a little bit the highlighters that they all the collabs that they've done which usually i find collabs can fall a little short but the makeup collabs that pixie has done have been awesome their highlighters oh my god those were so great okay so you un untie the ribbon and then 
you get this massive bottle of the Glow Tonic 5% Glycolic Acid Toner. Also, it says my name on it. I was so excited because I've never gotten anything personalized before. I was so excited. Also, this is the best part. There's a pump. Hello, awesomeness. Cause this, while we should always be happy when there's like good products on the market, when they're convenient to use, don't you use them like way more? I'm so excited for this. So, glycolic acid, 5%, yay. Also, I'm obsessed with Caroline Hirons. I've been obsessed with her for like a few years now. And any brand that she stands behind, I am like all about. I just love her. And I actually met her. Okay, this is gonna be like a long winded story. But like, if you ask Andrew, I don't get excited about like meeting like influencers or bloggers or vloggers. I just don't. It's like not my personality to get all like fangirly about anybody. <sighs> we were at an Ipsy party and Caroline was there and she was at coat check and she was like alone and I was like I felt like I was attacking her like just even from being far away from her I felt like I was attacking her because I was like so excited to see her. I'm like Andrew so we went up and we talked to her for a little bit and then at some point Andrew disappeared and if you watch her I mean I don't know how you don't love her but like when you meet her in person she is just as funny and like straightforward and awesome as she comes across in her videos and I just, I love her. I fangirled so hard. It actually was an event that I had gone to before and I tried to meet her. Like she was literally like five feet away from me and I was like t talking to like one of the pixie girls like, hey, um, can I talk to, I wanna meet Caroline. She's like, she's busy right now. Well, she wasn't busy. <laughs> she was standing there. I was just like, <gasps> and I was telling her about it. And she, I don't, whatever. I'm being a complete dork right now. More skincare. So this is from Derma E. I love Derma E products. I've mostly tried um, cleansing products from them. And so I was kind of excited to get this because I saw that there was a cleanser in here. This is the Derma E Hydrating Cleanser with Hyaluronic Acid. I haven't tried this yet. Um, actually, the recent past couple weeks between being in Texas for a week and then work has just been, I haven't opened any of my packages. So this, let me see what's in here. Hyaluronic Acid Water. There's coconut, ooh, okay. Let me smell this. Anything that says coconut in it, I have to smell it. Oh, this smells like really fresh coconut, like a, oh. I'm not saying it smells like alcohol, but maybe I'm just like wanting a vacation. It comes in a pump, it's a gel. I'm really excited to try this. I can't wait. And then this is the hydrating night cream, also with hyaluronic acid. Does this also have like coconut vibes? Um, I don't think so. So mainly what you're working off of here is purified water and then the second ingredient is the macadamia seed oil. I am all about oils. I love all oils. My face likes oils. So you have like this nice, I love that they've updated their packaging. Their new packaging is so nice. I mean, I say new, but it's probably been like a year. But it smells kind of similar. Is this nice? Let's, let's swatch it. I feel like this combination is gonna be like really nice. It's, it feels really nourishing. Okay, okay, not that I feel the need to ever justify liking products that are sent to me, but I just need you to know other things from Derma E that are really good. This is the Purifying Daily Detox Scrub. This is my second one. This is like gonna go in an empties. I have this in the shower all the time. It's just like a really excellent go-to. You can use it as your scrub, but you can also just leave it on your face for like five, 10 minutes and use it as like a mask. So good. If you have dry skin, maybe don't do this. I mean, even when I do have like in the winter, not that I have really dry skin, but even in the winter, I still use this and I still like it. You know what I mean? Like I just don't use it as a mask because if you use it as a mask, it does really kind of, what's the word? Like detoxes and like really purifies. This I love so hard. It's the microdermabrasion scrub. I have this in my shower currently. So good. Look, I'm basically gross and I just like keep digging my nail into it to get more like we're in like the surrounding I've like completely like scooped out the center so I used to be like really into the Dr. Brandt microdermabrasion scrub like I never bought it but I'd always get samples from Sephora and I was like this is so good it's such a great microdermabrasion scrub and then I discovered this and I was just like what <laughs> this is so good now the difference between a regular scrub and a microdermabrasion, I wouldn't recommend 
using a microdermabrasion more than a couple of times a week. Um, I might use it all over the face once a week and then when I'm in the shower sometimes I'll just use it in my t-zone because that's kind of where like your skin tends to like have more bumps or flake more but so so good you get this huge jar I love it I'm trying to see how much is in here but 56 grams mm. These two things Andrew gave to me, and I love both of them. I talked about them before. This is their micellar water. This has vitamin C. I tend to use this in the morning because I like having vitamin C. I feel vitamin C works better for me during the day. So I will use this as a kind of like a cleanser in the morning because I don't actually cleanse my face in the morning ever. I always use like a water um, because I kind of want to keep whatever moisture or oil or good stuff that's on my face on my face. So I don't want to like strip it. So this has been really good. Um, so like I said, I only use this in the morning, so it's like only down to here, and I only got this from Andrew, I don't know, when was the last time I saw him? It was in the summer, so it's not that long ago. And then this is the Illuminating Rose Sipping Cranberry Face Oil. This is also really good. I know it looks like I haven't used it, because I used it for like two weeks straight when I first got it, and then I stopped using it because it was still summer, so now I can probably bring it out again. This is, yesterday was the first day I started noticing flakes on my nose, so... Yes, recommend. So I just need you to know, Derma E, go to Ulta. I don't know where else they're sold, but that's usually where I see their stuff. Buy one, get one half off. Or it's just It's all good. I, I highly doubt that you'll find something you don't like. Like, you're gonna like it a little bit. They have really great stuff. Okay, more purchases. Rue La La, I picked up the, uh, what do you call it? The Bamboo Candy Oil Dry Mist. I have yay much in like in my bathroom so i was like i need to get another one i need to get another one and then of course it's on rue la la so it was like super cheap i have to, 18 was it 18 or something 18.99 it was really inexpensive and then i love rue la la because there's no tax for me out of all the flash sale sites i shop generally from guilt rue la la and outlook but i love rue la la the most because there's no tax and they also offer this um, 40 is it 40 dollars a year and you get free shipping the whole year to me that's really important because guilt you I think there's like a shipping threshold like $99 and then Outlook also has like a hundred dollar shipping threshold before you get free shipping and I'm taxed on both so sometimes things are really cheap on there and the tax doesn't make a difference to me but rule la all the way um, and then I got the bare mineral stroke of light in shade 3 I shared this with you guys in last week's vlog right yes um, and I keep it in my purse because I use it for touch-ups because it's so thin I generally just get darkness like around the like around my mouth under my nose and then like maybe a tiny bit here so I like using it as a touch-up because it's like a really great color it's a little like correcting and concealing and it looks like it'd be so dark for my face and it kind of is but you know when you use concealer on your face you can go darker because Darker concealer will always look better than lighter concealer. Lighter concealer always makes things look gray. So, love this. Okay, I was going to share some e.l.f. stuff with you. Like, I mean, look at look at this glitter. I mean, wow, right? Okay, but my feet are falling asleep. I feel like I've talked for way too long. I've, it looks like I'm filming for like 25 minutes. And that's just like, I need to cut that down. So, we'll talk about e.l.f. next week. Um, but I hope you guys are having like a good, I guess, December. It's like the end of the year. So, it's like you really start to like reflect on like what's been happening um i'll probably do like at the end of december um kind of like a year in review kind of thing like you know and um i think i was looking at the like calculating like which vlog i think the final week of december is actually we vlog 100 which is kind of cool um so yeah i will talk to you guys soon and i will talk to you guys soon <laughs>